Hi, Quad Copter 101 back with the uh, Toad 90. I got it set up over there um, after yesterday's crash. This is a post crash test or check flight. You know, I just got all the dust out of the uh, motors. You hold, you hold them upside down and just turn them slowly and, and blast some air if you got compressed air and that gets sand out of the motors real easily. <laughs> so this should work, I'm hoping. Um, let's go for a flight and just uh, play around with it today. So I'm going back to air mode. I like how this thing flew in air mode. And let me adjust my goggles. Get a better picture and take into the air oh wait gotta arm it too air mode armed away we go yeah i like this little thing this thing is uh works well you know especially in air mode i wanted to try some things with air mode that i i need a nice little puddle jumper with to be able to do this Ooh. like that <laughs> Yeah, I'll go find it. Still in one piece. Great little quadcopter. <laughs> I'll just show it to you. All one piece. Um, let's try some air, or acro mode flying this time through the trees. I didn't really get a chance to do that yesterday. Too much of that yesterday because of uh, I ran out of battery power and also crashed. <laughs> so eh, I crash a lot. So what? <laughs> okay back on uh, we're in stabilized mode i want to be in this time i'm going to fly an acro acro flying um arming take into the air and again this time i uh, um flying acro through the trees it's better to fly an acro through the trees than in air mode because in air mode you have a hard time getting back down to the ground it doesn't want to come down because those propellers are always spinning but in acro mode, you can drop. You just cut the throttle when it comes down. If you cut the throttle in air mode, remember folks, in air mode, it, uh, the propellers are always spinning. So yeah, I like this little thing. It's a fun little quad, fun little quad. And they're turning out to be uh, reasonably priced now. Before, you know, you get these brushless quads and they're very expensive, okay? Unreasonably expensive in my opinion, some of them. Uh, Finally, we're seeing uh, quadcopters coming in at under, under, or, or around hundred dollars. <laughs> My dog is getting <laughs> twisted around me here, and seeing other people here barking at other people. So going up and over. How's my voltage? Fine. Where the heck? Oh. You lost it. Here it is. <laughs> my wife's trying to keep an eye on this thing. Is there any people out in the field, my love? None. Okay. You're fine. I wanted to go around the field a bit. Checking the RSSI. I, um, I seen another review uh, from RC Escape, and he had some problems. I want to make sure mine mine doesn't seem to have that problem. So I'm not sure what that was. Maybe he got a defective version of it. But I'm doing well. You know, I'm I'm flying out there quite a bit, quite a bit of distance, and <laughs> getting good flight. You know, good R, well, reasonably good RSSI. Okay, what did I want to do? Let's go up again. Fun, fun little airplane, or quadcopter. I was just flying an airplane, by the way. You'll see that review shortly here. This is working out well. Uh, what's my voltage? Seven, okay. I'm still good, still good. You know, this time I'm not doing a lot of punch shots. Uh, yesterday I did a lot of punch shots with the review yesterday and the reason I don't want to do it today is that really sucked the battery power <laughs> doing those punch shots. This thing's supposed to get six to eight minutes they're, they're, they're saying so. Let's see if we do indeed get six to eight minutes flying it without punch shots, without major punch shots. Let's go around this thing. Good RSSI, good signal in other words, relative signal strength indicator. <laughs> You know, as long as it stays above uh, 30 or so, I'm not too worried about losing uh, reception from this. Fine, well. And our voltage. I gotta move that voltage to a different spot than uh, lower left corner. I'm having a hard time seeing it. But I think it's five. What are we at? I don't know. No, I'm, I'm oh. trying to make out what that voltage is saying. I'm not hearing a beep. The beeper's not going beep, so uh, 
I'm assuming that is 6.5, 6.4. So we're going to be calling it quits here shortly. And flight time is only about four minutes. Six points. There goes the beeper. So got to bring it in. Oh, it lands itself at that beeper point. <laughs> oh, I went down real low on that battery. So we do not get <laughs> predicted flight time. You know, six minutes. I'll add up the flight time and see what we got. We're not, oh, I okay. I see it. And it dropped itself. So I hope I didn't hurt that battery before that beeper went off. But it was flying great. I enjoyed flying it. Uh, just mostly an acro there. Um, so there it is. <laughs> there goes that battery warning again. Let's unplug it. So this is, again, the Fury Bee Toad 90. Little micro FPV racer. Fun little park flyer. Uh, just the right size to take to your local park and play around with. So I have a second ADC battery that I got here. Let's try this one out and see how it performs. I want to go up one more time with this little thing. This is a lot of fun to fly, this uh, little uh, Fury B Toad 90. A lot of fun to fly this thing. Yeah, uh, the way I got, you know, you can adjust this uh, on-screen display. I got the voltage reading down in the lower left corner. That's hard to see. I want to bring it up higher, somewhere that I can see it better. Maybe above acro there, the word acro. I'll, I'll do that uh, later. Let's try that, the RSSI 6070. I'm going pretty darn far, the other end of the field. <laughs> so, there's no problems with the RSSI over there. <laughs> Flying very far 50 50 a little bit scratchy on the fpv but yeah no problems with distance at all so uh, i think uh yeah rc escape may have gotten a defective one there out of the box but this one seems to be flying well i'm just flying gracefully <laughs> gently through the air going up above the the poles here rssi signal is very good flying high. No, I'm not high, <laughs> even though this is California. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Proposition 64 pass. Unfortunately, the, well, maybe fortunately, uh, the county that I'm in is Kern County, and they don't approve of that. Proposition 64, so you're not going to see any of that around here, <laughs> or at least for sale around here. Okay. Yeah, this is flying nicely. I'm just flying gentle. I want to see what type, type of flight time I can get out of this. I hope that's six, yeah, seven volts. Uh, we're still doing good in terms of uh, power. I'm just gentle flying this with this battery here just to see how much flight times we can get with it. With the second battery. And also testing out the range. Range is pretty darn good. I'm way over at the other end of the field, folks. Flying just like a bird with this one. I'm not pushing it at all. It's curious to see the flight time we get with it. Down lower, checking the RSSI down low. Still good. So good signals. Good FPV signal too. Oh no, this is a fun all around uh, micro FPV racer. Enjoyable flying right now. Not doing anything squirrely today or with this battery because I want to see the flight time again. 6.7. I'll bring it in about. Yeah, I better start thinking about bringing it in soon. 6.7 is 3. Point. Yeah, it's getting low, so we're going to bring it in now. 
how many how much minutes yeah um the claimed well it's 6.8 right now right so 6.7 uh the cream the claimed uh six minutes flight time i find that hard to believe that's probably flying until you drain the battery completely but if you want to safely uh use your battery 6.5 i gotta go start about thinking about bringing it in and i am bringing it in now if you want to maintain a uh, good battery without damaging it i yeah i gotta land it i'll put it there if you want to fly it without damaging it uh i went down to six point zero volts there you got to bring it in early so uh, i guess the realistic flight time is about four minutes so four minutes with the uh provide a battery so that was a fun flight that one there was a gentle flight just to see how it flies gently so hope you enjoyed this flight this quadcopter 101 signing out